Hi folks, it's William with Lodestone, here with another quick tip for you. Now today's quick tip is about Photoshop, and more specifically, about the tools panel inside of Photoshop. So for years now, Photoshop has had several tools, and most of those tools are actually hidden from view. Now we can customize the tools panel somewhat. Let's take a look. Over here on the left-hand side of my screen, I have the default position and uh, arrangement of the tools panel. If I go up here to the top, there is an expand button which will allow me to change the configuration of those tools. Now they're in a two column mode. I can even move the tools panel from the left side and leave it floating or go ahead and drag it on over here and connect it to the right side of my screen. And that's kind of nice. Makes things a little bit easier to access. I'm not having to go across my entire screen just to access tools, then go access a panel. So that's all fine and well, but the big problem with the tools panel is that there's so many tools and this is really frustrating for new users of Photoshop. So in this latest incarnation of Photoshop, I think Adobe has finally tackled that problem. So in the past we've had, well, let's say a tool here. If I click and hold on it, it reveals, you know, other tools underneath it. And over the years, more and more of these tools here have gotten that little icon which represents the hidden tools underneath and it's always such a hassle to have to come over here click and hold and then switch between the tools so um, the new thing now is well another tool you say oh my goodness so all we need is another tool we got too many as it is but this one i think you're really going to like if you come on down here below the hand tool there is this little ellipsis and if you click on that it is an edit toolbar option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on it to reveal the little menu of edit toolbar. Now what you're presented with is a two column mode here. On the left hand side you have all of the current tools in the toolbar. On the right hand side you have this thing called extra tools and this is where you can put all of those extra tools that you don't maybe use on a regular basis. And so that's what I want to do here. I'm going to take a few moments to start pulling tools from that left hand column and then put them over here in the right hand column. And so one of the first tools I'm going to pull is, well, right here, the artboard tool. I'm going to drag that over here and drop it in the extra tools panel. Okay. And then maybe I'll come over here and I'm going to do this with a single row marquee and the single column marquee. And so what it's doing is actually removing these items from the tools panel over here. Well, now that I've removed all the tools that I find extraneous, now I want to start separating the rest of these tools here. You can see that I have all of my shape tools here and they're grouped together here in this left-hand toolbar column. Well, if they're grouped together like this, that means that these are hidden tools. So all we have to do is separate them. I'm going to drag the rectangle tool up a little bit and it separates it. I'll do that for the next one and I'll continue that process. Okay, so now I've got all of my tools separated, so no hidden tools. Let's take a look back over here in the Tools panel. Sure enough, as I look through here, there are no hidden tool icons. Well, there is one here at the ellipsis, but we'll come back to that in just a moment. So all of my tools that I work with are here, they're fully exposed, it's a single click, and then start working. Makes it a lot faster and a lot easier to find the tools that I want to use. Now we can do a little bit more. You can organize these tools in the toolbar column over here in the customized toolbar panel. So what I will do is just move some of these around. So the move tool, very, very popular for me. I like to leave that near the top. Another one that I really like to use is the quick selection tool. So I might move that up here near the top. And you can see what's happened over here in my toolbar is it has moved that quick selection tool right up here near the top. Now I can continue to move those tools around, but for now I'm good with that. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and save this as a preset. So there you have it, a nice, clean, simplified tool panel. No hidden tools. Well, there is that one. Down here where the ellipsis is, you can see there is still the icon for a hidden tool. 
Now what this represents, when I click and hold on it, is all of those tools that I have hidden. So you never actually lose any of your tools. They're just all in one location. Well, there you go. Simplifying your Photoshop toolbox. If you want to learn more about Photoshop or any of the other Adobe applications, please visit us at www.lodestone.com. Thank you.